So while I'm on slavevoyages.org and I come across this, select a database of enslaved people to search. You got African origins and you got oceans of kinfolk. Is it just me or I never knew that. Y'all knew that? The Oceans of Kinfolk database provides personal details of more than 63,000 enslaved African Americans forcibly transported to the New Orleans from various ports in the United States during the 19th century. Pan-Africans, why aren't you searching this database? And the fact that there's two choices is telling you People were here already. There should be a paper that reflects the information that they uploaded to the internet. So why I can't click on anything, right? This is the cosigner, this is the own. I'm just supposed to take this and, and, and run with it, right? We were, just, we were supposed to take this and run with it. Federal Writers Project and the WPA, that's all I'ma say. Peace and love y'all. I just don't understand how when I tell people that I'm Afro-Indigenous, everybody always want to see proof, everybody want to see paperwork, everybody want to see a DNA test. So you mean to tell me I need to show you paperwork proving who I am, paperwork provided by the same people that took our ancestors on a walk, the Trail of Tears. From down here, Alabama, where I'm from, born, bred, raised, all the way up north, reclassified a lot of us as Negroes, brainwashed our children and erased as much of our history as they could, sold each other the right to claim Indian on paper for $5, stole all of our land thereafter, and continue to reign under a system that only benefits themselves. You really think when they stole all our land, if I swab the inside of my mouth, they gonna tell me the truth like, yeah, that's who you are. Be for real yo so we back in here for another edition after your mother and before i start letting that video play the girl was talking about how if you look in the database and you'll find like documentation or record of people that were classified as negro um that was traveled or cargoed in the transatlantic slave trade and i wouldn't check it out it's a legit website i don't know who put it together but it was official tissue um but as to as far as this what this lady was talking about that's true story like i have so many conversations with people from time to time where they're talking about how everybody came out of africa and while that's partially true technically it isn't what i mean by that is <clears throat> if you want to use that theory genetically everybody has african genetics even people in Iceland and Greece and Finland. So that's not saying much. Of course, that was when the continental plates were a lot closer. And I'm assuming that because Africa is the largest landmass in the world, whatever created us probably centered it right, life right there and it migrated outward. However, when black people, um, <clears throat> migrated throughout the world right you set up different cultures people established established different ethno um genesis to different particular groups uh, evolution uh breeding with other people uh breeds different traits you're not gonna have the same cultural eth ethnic group of people right so when black people when people say that that black people came from Africa and if we don't like America we can go back it's like that's an asinine argument because <clears throat> a lot of people that are classified as quote-unquote black here in the states might be descendants of aboriginal Americans right the, the people that we know as Mexicans or South Americans a lot of their ancestors traveled from the Bering Straits over to the America or traveled from South America with Spaniards during the conquistador period and traveled north so like this whole ideal that black people somehow all 44 million of us like come from Africa stupid only especially when out of 30 million people that were cargoed only 3% actually survived the trip 
is roughly about 388,000 people. What are we talking about here? But aside from all that, I'll give you another one. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. And Toledo and Ohio aren't even European words. Neither is Indiana. Neither is Nebraska, Oklahoma, Chicago, Michigan. These are all the states in the Midwest that they didn't even bother changing the names. So I have reason to believe if they didn't change the names of Midwestern cities, I didn't even name like ones out West or southern states that aren't part of the uh, commonwealth you got to know there was already people there in any event if y'all like this episode or if you didn't i don't give a shit leave it in the comments hit the like button and i'm out no.